Hello and welcome to SASS tutorial. In today's video, we are going to set up the SASS development environment and we are going to convert our SASS code into CSS. So, as you already know, that we need Node.js for this. So, I hope you have Node.js installed in your system. And along with Node.js, we are going to need few other packages such as Node SAS package. So we need to install that too. We'll also create the SSS file as well as CSS file and how to uh, connect them together so that we can write the SSS file and the our program automatically generates the CSS file. So let's get started. At the beginning, I'm going to start with creating a new project in my desktop. So I'm going to create new folder called as node sas and i'm going to open this in my sublime text okay so inside this folder we are going to need, need few other uh, directories so one is for sas file or sss file we are going to store our sss file inside this uh, directory another one is for the original css file so let me call it as css i will also create one html file so that i can show you the example at the end of this video okay so let me create one file for that So this is the basic structure of the project. Now let me go into the project so that I can initialize our uh, node project. So let me open command from here. Here I'm going to initialize our node project. in it okay. so everything leave everything as default setting okay now we need to install one package for as node sas and we need to give uh, parameter to make it as a global file okay so we need to install this package as global so slash c or double slash global so the packages are installing now okay the package is installed now let me open the project in the sublime here now i'll create one css file inside the css directory and name it as style.css Inside this CSS file, we will have all the auto generated CSS code that we have written in the SCSS format. Okay, now I'll create another file here SCSS file. Inside that SCSS file, we are going to write our actual CSS code in the SCSS format. So let me name that file as main.scss. Now the last piece of puzzle is that we need to uh, set up the script here so that we can compile our SCSS into CSS. Okay. So for that, we can call it compile sas column. Now we need to use our package that is node sas and we need to pass to uh, location here two path of the file first one is the path of the SSS file and second one is the path of the CSS file so the our SSS file is present inside the sas directory so sas inside that the file name is main.sss space and we also need to give this uh, minus w option that means that 
whenever we make the changes in our SSS file the changes will automatically apply to the styled CSS file so that we don't need to do that manually okay now we can write the CSS file we can run this project okay so let me go ahead and run this project first to run the project we can use the command npm run and the name of the script that is compile will execute that uh, little script that we have given in the test field now whenever we make the make or add the SCSS file the, the CSS code will automatically generate it so let me show you the example so what I'm gonna do is here you can see the style.css file is empty so here I'm going to write something like body background and color for color I'm going to create one variable color bg okay so before declaring this body I'm going to declare this variable color bg is black okay. so as you can see here the rendering is complete and saving the CSS file that means this code is written in the our standard CSS file. So you can see here the background body background is uh, written in the CSS, but we had written that in SSS format by using the variable. So uh, let me apply this into HTML. But in the HTML file, we need to include our main CSS file not SSS one but we need to include the styled CSS file here just like in the any simple web development project okay that is present in CSS standard CSS let me create one h1 come home now I'll run this uh, HTML in browser as you can see the background is black and the color is also black so we are not um, able to see the message that is welcome home text so let me change the color of the text that is let me make it as red now here you can see the rendering is complete and you can see color is added here that means we can refresh the page and we will get the text color as red so guys this is how you uh, can render the SSS into CSS in node.js okay so there are so many features of SSS that you can use to create and enhance your web design skill thanks for watching guys and don't forget to subscribe for the more, more videos in the future in SSS node.js Python Django and so on I hope to see you in our next video Thank you. Bye for now.